I even realized, oh, this is a consistent thing that, that people show up and feel safe and mm -hmm. um, comfortable enough to be vulnerable. Um, it's sad that harassment on a consistent basis has made the space that we make necessary. Yeah. I, th I think about stuff like that. Yeah. Like one thing wouldn't exist without the other For sure. or the popularity and something going up is happening because something is wrong here. Mental health and while this looks like and I'd be better off asking you directly than just assuming what it is that it's you're doing and applying it to my thing. Oh, that thing turned off. That thing was like, I'm hot. But you see how it turned off? That yeah. means that they saved correctly. Yeah. <laughs> it went through the whole shutdown process. Yeah, yeah, because it heard me, it heard me bitching. Like, <laughs> so with that being said, have you ever thought about your work that it creates a safe space and vulnerability? Or have you just viewed the work that you've done as, I'm glad I have an opportunity to bring this to life? And what are the other spaces that I could bring this to life in? I think the way I have viewed myself mm -hmm. um, and even considering it a safe space, it has only been in contrast of negative stories that I've heard. Okay, so the comparison. The comparison. What's going on out there? Like, oh, I don't do that. Yeah. I know I don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, that and, you know, just the, like I said, the the trust that people have of me, mm -hmm. um, even when it could very well not, like that that uh, that 2020 situation very easily could have been a viral, yeah, get Yogi the fuck out of here. Yeah. Um, but you've always kept the focus, the focus, and the reason you have focus is because your intentions have never been in the wrong place. For sure, for sure. Um, so yeah, I, I haven't really actually, like, it might not have been until this year mm -hmm. when we're throwing events for the magazine that I even realized, oh, this is a consistent thing that, that people show up and feel safe and mm -hmm. um, comfortable enough to be vulnerable. Um, it's sad that harassment on a consistent basis has made the space that we make necessary. Yeah. I, th I think about stuff like that. Yeah. like one thing wouldn't exist without the other for sure or the popularity and something going up is happening because something is wrong here and for it's sure. it's it's everywhere for sure so like chicken pox yeah 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 um yeah yeah but that, it is very necessary um i would even go as far as saying like um i think one thing that can aid in creating a safe space is not being monotone and gender what do you mean? Um, like if I'm doing a photo shoot with a woman or multiple women, mm -hmm. like probably more specifically uh, one woman and speaking back to like production value and like what is a what is a, a high value production look like? Yeah. If the team's all guys, she can oh. still be very uncomfortable. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's... You see my reaction? Yeah. I, I yeah, think yeah. about those things. And like, why wouldn't? It's like, no, there's a lot of places that it is all guys. For sure. Or, but it's or, a woman on the shoot. Or even even the flip side, right? Yeah. It's a woman shooting and it's all woman team and it's one guy. That could also be very uncomfortable. Yeah. Um. So I just think just think understanding, you know, uh, try to mix it up, you know, just 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 give a little variety. Okay. Even, you know, deeper on a deeper side, uh, it's having people that that understand. Um, Having like, having, having, having familiarity for people, mm -hmm. I think helps. I think that's the best way to say that. I got you. My partner's cooking and it's like fucking me up how good this shit It does smell right really now. good. <laughs> <laughs> I've been staying calm for the last 20 minutes. Like, Man, that, that smells good. And I got to go to the gym after we're done talking for like nice. two hours. So I'm just like, I'm just going to be in there nice. starving. Just angry, <laughs> angry and hungry. Um, all right. So where can the people find you? This this your mm -hmm. camera right here. You just let folks know who you are. Um, Instagram, Twitter, uh, <laughs> Threads, um, Spill at Yogi the Shooter, like Yogi the Bear, but the Shooter. Um, y o g i t h e s h o o t e r. Um, my website is Respect the Shooter. Um, R e s p e c t h e shooter um you can also find me and my work at 
A Dirty Magazine on Instagram and Twitter um, at adirtymagazine.com. Uh, this morning, uh, 15 minutes into me waking up, I got a call from my fam saying, hey, call me when you can ASAP, mm -hmm. right? I picked up the phone and the call was about a young lady never met me before who's dealing with suicidal ideation. Sheesh. Right. And she described the situation to me. She told me about the young lady's mother, what happened and everything else. And as much as my heart went out to her, I'd tell my homie, hey, I'm glad that you reached out to me and, you know, you want me to do what I can for her. But I just want to let you know this isn't my wheelhouse. Yeah. The work that I do is to build up creating a space for people to mitigate getting to that place and using all the breaks to create a better environment when it comes to the community, wellness, and therapy. And you should have picked up the phone to call me five months ago when you guys first saw the sign and introduced me to her so I could have built a relationship with her. Because sure. now when I pull up tomorrow to talk to her, I'm going to be a stranger that's talking to her about something so vulnerable and personal. For sure. And even if we do get her therapy right now, you're calling me because she's a risk and my work doesn't deal with those that are a risk to themselves and yeah, others. For sure. I don't have the capacity for that. For sure. That's a 911 call. For sure. And y'all called her on the, her day off. So you and the other manager could pay attention to her and make sure she's good. And then I have to pull up to her tomorrow, her job to facilitate her having a real conversation with me about something that she only has talked to both of you about. For sure. And she's supposed to trust me. For sure. It's it's hard. <sighs> what? It's hard. So that's a, that's a, a um, that's an uphill battle if I've ever heard one. Ah, man, I have a lot of uphill battles. This isn't going to be the first call about someone struggling. And this isn't going to be the last, but, you know, you can't be upset about what you asked for. For sure. You feel what I'm saying? For sure. So I know that feeling. Yeah. Um, if there was one piece of advice you, if there was one piece of advice you wish you would have gotten with the work that you do and with where society is now, do you think that piece of advice would have, and you technically advocate for vulnerable spaces with the work that you've done? Mm -hmm. One piece of advice, I would say that uh, what we do as photographers is a crap. It's ever evolving, it's ever growing, um, and it's always creating space from where you are to its highest potential, especially if I had to tell my younger self I would say like, do as much as you can to learn as much as you can because I made a lot of mistakes along the way, fumbled a lot of bags along the way, ruined a lot of, uh, ruined and wasted a lot of clients' money along the way um, because I didn't, because I, I was comfortable where I was um, in relation to the highest potential of the art in the craft. That's, that's, a, that's a damn good piece of advice. <laughs> that's a... Yeah, I, I think, you know, I've done all those things. Yeah, I've done all those things. It's uh, mistakes are necessary to grow. If I would have done all this growth without mistakes, I don't know if I would have been the man that I am today. Fair enough. Yeah. 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 That's, also, that's also a very fair thing. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, like we said earlier, you end up where you're going to end up anyway. So Yeah, yeah, you'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, You'll get there like, damn, I didn't have to sacrifice all those things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it happens. Yeah. All right, well, with that being said, this has been another episode of Mental Health Monday. Appreciate you, homies, for pulling up, partaking in the convo. Uh, hopefully, um, get to like, subscribe. I mean, like subscribe share i always mess up that end smash the like smash the like subscribe share i'd be like yo when do they get this energy that's right that every time <laughs>